Yeah, the suspect is no stranger to controversy, Bill. In fact, we learned that in court today, he allegedly admitted to police that he was the president of the KKK in Virginia. Meanwhile, witnesses here in Lakeside say they're surprised more people were not hurt. We just got out of the way as fast as we could. Eva Swanson joined dozens of Black Lives Matter protesters in Lakeside Sunday night. We live in the north of the city, so we thought it was important to come out. Swanson and several witnesses say this man, 36-year-old Harry Rogers, intentionally targeted their group walking on Lakeside Avenue with his truck. I mean, he sped up. He revved his engine and sped up, and I thought for sure people were going to die. I mean, people were screaming. Witnesses say Rogers hit a bicyclist, running over his foot before driving away. Police later arrested him, charging him with attempted malicious wounding, felony vandalism, and assault and battery. But there were individuals who were engaging in lawful conduct in a lawful uh, protest or a lawful gathering. Henrico Commonwealth's attorney Shannon Taylor said Rogers admitted he was a leader of the Ku Klux Klan and a propagandist for Confederate ideology. CBS 6 first spoke to Rogers in 2013 as the Virginia flaggers worked to hoist a Confederate flag outside of his home along I-95 in Chester. It makes me feel very proud. And in 2016, the Progress Index identified Rogers as the man holding a Confederate flag while wearing a Klan robe in Colonial Heights. I think he would be a danger to future protests. Swanson says she feared someone may drive into the protest that day. I want to be clear, though, like the fear I have is like a white person marching is nothing compared to the like fear of violence that black people face every single day. And Commonwealth's attorney Taylor tells me they are exploring right now whether or not hate crime charges are appropriate in this case. Also, police confirming to me that a teenager was inside that truck with Rogers at the time of this whole incident. We're also hearing that Rogers is sitting in jail at the Henrico Jail East without bond. Working for you in Henrico County, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.